Hello everybody, this is Rob Jones from RobertQuintonJones.com and today what I am going to show you is how to mimic the fade in effect that they use on Google's homepage now. So if I refresh this, see how it's blank, move the mouse, everything fades in. I'm going to show you how to do that, it's pretty simple actually. So what I've done is I've mimicked this page with my own little logo here. Uh, a little simple search box and uh, these nav links up top. So if I go to my text editor, here's what it looks like. I've got my little bit of CSS code and it's got the title Google Fade In Example. Uh, here we have our top division, which I've my div, the class is nav. Um, and then I've got my little links in there. And then I've got my image and I've got another division with the form in it. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make this nav division fade in when somebody moves their mouse on the web page and initially we want it to be hidden. So, in order to do that, I go up here and first thing is I've got to uh, do a little script line here. Text, I'm sorry, type equals text slash javascript okay so source I'm gonna reference the jQuery library and let me close that okay let me copy that again uh, down here so so for that source what I can do Google actually has in their Ajax libraries a copy of this. So if you just say Google Ajax uh, API API or libraries no oh, that's not right. Google, Google Ajax libraries. So click on that Google Ajax libraries Google code there we go. Click on jQuery and down here where it says path, we want to copy that path. That's a copy of, of jQuery, the, the jQuery library. You can download it from jQuery.com and put it on your server and reference it there, but I recommend just doing it this way. It's a lot easier, and they, they keep it up to date with whatever's latest uh, update. So now let's add our function to do what we want to do. So here we go, function, little, little JavaScript function. Close this because I always forget to close these things. Okay, so first we want to reference our document, and then we want to say within our document, mouse move. So when mouse moves in our document, it's going to do what's in these little parentheses, which is a function. Okay, close that. Okay, so there we go. And uh, in our document when the mouse moves it's going to do this and in jQuery all you have to do is say dollar sign parentheses within the parentheses do some quotes say dot that will go and that'll that'll pick the class and say up here uh, you can use whatever word you want so it's going to go to my document it's going to say when it notices the mouse moving then it's going to do this function and within this function it's going to go through the document. It's going to say any class, any, any element that has a class of appear will do what I specify here. So dot, and the function is fade in, like that. Okay. Uh, there's also fade out, which works as pretty similar. You can figure it out pretty easily. Within there, you say the amount of time that you want to take to fade in, and I'm going to do 500 milliseconds. That's one half a second. Okay, close that. And that's it. That's our entire function right there. That little bit of script. Okay, so now next thing we want to do is we want to go down to our div class. And here's a trick. If you go within here, inside the class parentheses, add a space, you can now have two classes for this division. So it is nav and it is also appear. So I'm going to say add some CSS here for appear and initially I want display to be none. 
I do not want it to display. And then when the mouse moves, it will display, and the opacity will go from 0 to 100 over the course of 500 seconds. So let me save that. Let me show you what it looks like. Go here. Go to my example. Refresh it. There you go. It's gone. When I move my mouse, it'll fade in. But there's a little jump. Let me refresh it. There's that jump. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enclose this division inside its own division. So that, that'll push this down and it, it won't fade in. So it'll, it'll fix that little jump. So let me go down here and let me let me enclose this division within another division and I'm going to call it nav container. Okay? Simple enough. Close that. Okay, now let me go back up here my nav and let me add above it nav container. And let me give it a height. Um, I'm going to do 30 pixels. So there will always be 30 pixels there. And I'm going to save it. And let me go over here to example. Let me refresh it. There you go. That's what it looks like. Move my mouse. And there it fades in. Simple and easy. Teeny little bit of code. So all you do is reference the Ajax, li uh, I'm sorry, the jQuery library. Add this little bit of code to your style so that it does not display, so it display to none. And then go to wherever you want, whatever division you want to apply this to. Add the that, that name of that class up here. And if necessary, you can add one of these little container divisions so that um, things won't jump around on your page. And that's it. One more time. There you go. Move your mouse. Fade in. Piece of cake. Enjoy!